In 1970, the page three tradition began in the British tabloid press when the Sun began to feature topless models on their third pages. Their circulation was boosted and other tabloids began to do it as well. The feature was controversial throughout its history. Conservatives viewed it as inappropriate softcore pornography and feminists argued that page three objectified women's bodies and perpetuated sexism. Some politicians campaigned to have page three banned. Others defended it as supporting freedom of the press. The British government never enacted legislation against page three, but in 2003, the minimum age for topless modeling was raised from 16 to 18. By 2013, the trend began to replace topless models with clothed glamour photography. As of 2023, only one British tabloid continues the topless feature. Page Three launched the careers of many well-known British glamour models in the 1980s, some of whom were only 16 years old when they first appeared. Samantha Fox became one of the most photographed British women of the 1980s. The models themselves held differing opinions. Debbie Ashby called the ending of page three long overdue, and Chloe Goodman has defended it. Now that page three has largely passed into cultural history, perhaps its controversy and divisiveness will fade into the past as well.